Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. Here at the Galley of the Sun, we love hot dogs. We love hot dogs so much that we make our own. So when it's time to have a hot dog, just a simple bun mustard hot dog ain't enough for us. So today we're gonna take the simple operation of making a hot dog. We're gonna complicate it by a factor of at least five, but it's gonna be about 20 times more delicious. So let's get started. First of all, I have my oven right now preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a full package of bacon here. Today I'm making six hot dogs, so I need 12 pieces of bacon. But that's pretty much this whole pack, and who doesn't like having bacon around? So I'm gonna do this whole package. But there's a twist. No, really, there, there's a twist. We're gonna take each one of these and twist them up. So they're very easy to nestle next to our glorious hot dog. And we're gonna lay them on parchment paper on a baking sheet. And then we're gonna bake these until they're done. Um, this is something that uh, you probably need to watch. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes initially and then keep an eye on them and pull them out when I like the looks of them. But uh, that's how we're doing it. So step one, twist your bacon. All right, I'm gonna keep twisting. I'm gonna chuck these in the oven and then we'll take a look once I'm done. As our bacon is cooking away in the oven, let's go ahead and get our mushrooms ready. Oh yeah, I said this is gonna be loaded. We're gonna load them. So what I have here is uh, eight ounces of sliced Baby Bella mushrooms. We're gonna take those and uh, get them diced up pretty good so we can get more on our hot dog there. The big piece like that is just gonna fall off, right? So we wanna get those nice and diced up. You don't have to go crazy. This isn't a uh, food processor worthy, going to all that trouble and having to clean that thing up. Just uh, get them out and cut them into a little bit smaller pieces. Just a couple passes. There we go, I'm happy with that right there. The bacon's been in the oven for about uh, 20 minutes, so we're gonna pull that now and get it on this rack over here to get it crisped up. Go and I'll pull those out of the bacon grease, get them on the drying rack, and we'll get this out of the way. Next step is to get a tablespoon of olive oil into each of my two skillets back here. I've got my covers ready because we're going to need that. Uh, what I have here is a diced up onion and our mushrooms we did before. Each of them are going to go in there. They're going to go in there on low heat and we're going to let those set for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring them every once in a while. Just make sure we don't burn them. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next step. We'll see you then. All right, we're gonna get both of these on low heat, as I said. Get about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. Now we're not really frying these, so I don't need to wait for it to shimmer. I'm gonna get my onions and mushrooms in there, stir them to get them coated, and then get them covered. And then we're gonna stir them every three or four minutes. Before we do that though, we're gonna hit them both with a pinch of salt and pepper. Stir them until they all look coated. And then, lid on. I know, my spidey son says I needed some more oil over here, so get some more oil on that. Get them coated, stirred up, evened out. As the onions and mushrooms are going, I'm going to get my Ninja XL grill warming up on air crisp, 390 degrees. And we're gonna set that time to 12 minutes. Okay, that's pre-warming. Why am I doing that? Because we make our own hot dogs. So right now they're raw. It's not like what you get from the store. You can take them right out of the package, take a bite of them. You just get a bunch of raw meat if you do that with ours. So I need to get these crisp up and we found through uh, experimentation that the air fry gives us uh, the best hot dogs here. We tried roast before, but uh, you know, the, the way the skin gets with the air crisp, it's just right. All right, preheat's done. And go the dogs. Now as the hot dogs are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get the buns ready for toasting. I got these uh, egg buns from the local Safeway that looked pretty good. Normally we do brioche, but these looked pretty darn good, so I had to give them a try. Okay, so these I'm gonna split via the top, making sure I don't go all the way through. So that'd be unfortunate because my hand's there. Ah. Now we're gonna get those opened up. We're gonna butter them, get them in the oven on the broiler and get them toasted. 
All right, into the broiler. First, I gotta move the rack up, otherwise it really doesn't make sense. All right, I'm pretty happy with how those mushrooms are looking. Now in goes a couple cloves of garlic, and we're gonna let that go for about five more minutes. The mushrooms and garlic have been going for another five minutes or so, so I'm gonna turn, take them off the heat and set them aside. As far as the onions go, we're gonna put about a tablespoon of honey, get those all covered, and then let those cook for another uh, 10 minutes or so. Get that de-rizzled, get all that goodness mixed in. All right, and then the cover goes back on. The dogs are done and looking and smelling absolutely glorious. So we're gonna set those aside until we have our onions and mushrooms totally done. Final steps. So we got our six hot dogs, we got our six hot dog buns. Each bun is gonna get a hot dog. I bet you didn't see that coming. Surprises right and left on the galley of the sun. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, never miss an episode. What's your favorite hot dog recipe? Let us know. Got my six buns, I got my six dogs. Now on either side of one of those dogs goes our bacon. And on top of those hot dogs go your favorite uh, cheddar cheese. Ours is Trader Joe's Impossible Cheddar. This stuff is absolutely delicious. I apologize to Trader Joe's, it's unexpected cheddar, not impossible cheddar. If it was impossible cheddar, it wouldn't be possible, would it? But if it's unexpected, you can do that. All right, those are all covered. My oven is still on broil high. We're gonna chuck these back in the oven and get that cheese melted. All righty, and the hot dogs are back out of the broiler. You can see all the cheese is melted. We got our bacon, we got our hot dogs. I'm gonna hit every one of them with some mustard. Gonna use this Zatarain's Creole mustard because we absolutely love it. Then they all get some of those onions that we so painstakingly made. And then the mushrooms. If you're a frequent viewer of the Galley of the Sun, you already know that Greg's gonna eat this with a knife and fork because there's no way you can eat this and not get your hands sticky. And then from there, it's up to you. Do you want uh, sweet relish on it? I don't, I hate that stuff, but I love dill relish. So do you want dill relish on it? Do you want ketchup on it? You want some mayo on it? Whatever you want, but I'll tell you what, these are absolutely fantastic. And as soon as I serve some people, I will give this a try. All right, dishing them out to everybody here at the Galley of the Sun. Uh, I'm gonna give a taste real quick before the noisy grandkids get out here. Oh yeah, they're wonderful, but man, they're noisy. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Oh yeah, that right there is a gourmet hot dog. Hey, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas.